Hello everybody, it's Old Rocket here, here, and today I'm previewing the Rowan Class Carrier. The Rowan Class weighs over 3,000 tons, is over approximately 100 meters long, and that has two side hanger bays that can fit 10 Achilles class dropships each. With E3 parts at launch and 180,000 It is possible to launch it stop without Using the B9 Aerospace Pack, this vehicle is in its second itineration and is unarmed. propulsion devices. These enormous dual mode engines were engineered for missions with extremely heavy payloads such as delivering HX modules to orbit or powering interplanetary transfers of structures exceeding thousands of tons. Its power source is four work HX one URC reactors. It produces it, the each one costs two million Kerbal dollars and produces five hundred and sixty charge per second. Enough to power this, enough, not enough to power one at max power, but enough to power both at one third power for highly extended periods of time. Because these generators do not require fuel, they are small, they are powerful enough. To pow to to keep it powered with ten lasers permanently. It can carry nine kerbals and has a power capacity of two of over one million units. Today we will be launching this beast using infinite fuel into an orbit and if it Once in orbit, we are going to render this with two other Rowan classes, class carriers, and perform practice maneuvers. And now it is launch time.
That always seems to happen. Is he even going to launch? Doesn't look like it, but it's accelerating. Well, wait slowly, but it's accelerating. Is this thing launching? After destroying a large, very large section of the launch pad, it's launching. It's trying to launch. But again, it weighs with 73 parts, it weighs 3,700 tons. And yet it has the nerve to try and fly after destroying, after wreaking so much havoc. Vic. Oh. I give up. Might as well see it explode. In a typical turbo fat. But it's an explosion. What? It bounced? That thing bounced? At least some kerbals survived. Not. Well, since we know it's pretty hard to launch this thing, I, I've launched it, but since it's since one out of every five or so times, it will fail. Well, I already have three of these in orbit so just waiting still won't let okay so now we just have to wait for this to load There we go. Hmm. Wait. I wonder. This might be a different ask. For a redirect mission. Hmm. She had an encounter at some point. Oh, wow. That is a low periaps. What is it? Oh, wow. That is dangerous. We may have to redirect that considering. Yeah. Eh. So what? Curran will die. We're in. And now you can see the glory of this. And, okay, SAS is on. Doesn't have the best rotation though. Its control is actually better with engines.
On this first model, I've actually forgot. I just realized I forgot to action group the mood changes. To... So, eh. Now, just for the sake of it, I'm going to show you these at full power in space. 19,000 thrusts. Hmm, what's happening to our orbit? There's actually a very elliptical orbit out there. Hmm. I'm just burning up my orbit. Now you have seen the power of these engines. This model is carrying nine, a full payload of nine Kerbals. Oops, and hmm, I'm just wondering which cockpit. Hmm. See. Hmm. Well, I sadly can't seem to show you all the view from in between the frontal prongs, but eh, it's fine. This thing is ridiculously powerful, as you can see. It will take down any space pirate or enemy fleet, and a fleet of ten of these. I don't know, want to know what it can do to anyone who gets in its way. So that's all for this episode. And next one, maybe we'll try Fiduna and establish a colony there.